Hello, I'm the Pageant Nerd, and welcome to my third Alpha Pageant Preview for the 2021 Miss World and Miss Universe competitions. Firstly, a huge thank you for all your suggestions for the subject of this next video. With so many responses, and with so little time before the competitions in mid-December, I've decided to change the format a little. Being the pageant nerd is sadly not my full-time job, and I just won't get to produce individual profiles on all the countries that deserve some attention. As such, I'm combining a handful of countries in the one video, broken down by region. And with the first grouping, it's time to say, Hola a nuestras candidatas sudamericanas a Miss Mundo y Miss Universo 2021. Vamos! It goes without saying that South America is again a continent to watch, stacked with potential finalists, if not winners, at both Alpha pageants. South America has won a combined 25 Alpha crowns, more than half of those by Venezuela alone. Argentina, Brazil and Peru are the other three South American nations that have won both Miss World and Miss Universe at least once each. Today I'll be covering five of the most talked about countries heading into this Alpha pageant season, starting with the superpower itself, Venezuela. 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 With seven Miss Universe and six Miss World crowns, Venezuela is the alpha nation of the alpha pageants. However, it's been a full decade since its most recent Miss World victory, and eight years since Gabriela Isler won Miss Universe. After Ivian Sarkos won Miss World 2011, there are an unprecedented five straight non-placements, despite the creation of a separate Miss World Venezuela pageant. Historically, the winner of Miss Venezuela went to Miss Universe, and the first runner-up was sent to Miss World. And while that didn't seem to matter in the past, it sure does to Julia Morley. True, Ivian Sarkos was runner-up to Vanessa Goncalves, but more recently, the selection of Miss Venezuela World has again played second fiddle to that of Miss Venezuela Universe. In the past three years at Miss World, they've been eliminated after the first cut. Miss Universe has been a happier hunting ground, with a top five finish and second runner-up in the past four years, although Venezuela's 2020 candidate went unplaced. Representing Venezuela at the next Miss Universe in Israel is Louisette Mataran, appointed to the title in July, having placed top five at Miss Venezuela 2020. Her evolution since then has been very impressive, as has her program of community initiatives. At the recently held 2021 Miss Venezuela pageant, Louisette was officially crowned, as was her successor, the equally spectacular Amanda Dudamel, who will wear the Venezuela sash at Miss Universe 2022. 25-year-old Luiseth Mataran is an actress, journalist, TV host and model. She has a degree in social communications. Alejandra Conde was crowned Miss World Venezuela in September 2020, giving her more than 14 months to prepare for her international competition in Puerto Rico. Conde is currently studying medicine at the Central University of Venezuela and created a social project helping vulnerable women and children in her home state of Aragua. The 24-year-old is the complete package and hopes a high for a return to the latter stages of Miss World.
In previous videos, I've extensively covered Colombia's history at the Alphas, Miss Universe especially, so I won't get too repetitive here. But in a nutshell, across both pageants, they've reached the top two a combined 12 times, with two Miss Universe crowns to show for it. That's another six first runner-up finishes at Miss Universe, and four of the same at Miss World, without a title to speak of. Ouch. Colombia has been a major force at Miss Universe since Paulina Vega's 2014 victory, their second overall. Since then, two first runners-up, a second runner-up, and a top five. Under a new franchisee, Laura Olascuaga made the top 21 in the 2020 edition. Sadly, the same can't be said for Miss World. After a top seven result in 2009, just three first cut placements. Colombia could be back in the latter stages at Miss Universe again this year, with the stunning Valeria Ayos recently winning the national title. Valeria took the Miss Earth Water Crown in 2018, so she's got valuable international experience under her belt. 27-year-old Valeria has a degree in international relations. Her father is from Spain, her mother from Trinidad and Tobago. Andrea Aguilera was crowned Miss Mundo Colombia in August. A trained vocalist and with a diploma in neuro-linguistic programming, Andrea is pursuing a bachelor's degree in public relations. Twenty twenty one marks both the seventieth anniversary of Miss World and also fifty years since Brazil's first and so far only title in that pageant in nineteen seventy one. Since then, there have been eight top seven finishes, including at the last Miss World held in twenty nineteen, but none higher than second runner up. It's an eerily similar tale at Miss Universe. Brazil's second and most recent crown came in 1968, followed by an incredible nine top five results, three of those first runner-up. The winner of the 69th Miss Universe competition is... Viva Mexico! The most recent of those, of course, occurred in the 2020 edition, when Julia Gama finished second to Mexico's Andrea Meza. Doing the rounds among pageant fans in recent weeks was Julia's announcement that she wasn't invited to hand over her title to the new Miss Universe Brazil. It wasn't clear why. Some suggested it was her involvement with a brand new pageant in Dubai called Universal Woman. Others claimed her bad attitude had been an issue throughout her entire reign. Regardless, a defiant Julia performed a final walk, wearing crown and sash for her supporters via social media. Ceará! Meanwhile, Teresa Santos was crowned Miss Universe Brazil on November 7, giving the 23-year-old just a few weeks to prepare before flying out to Israel. Santos is a model who finished second runner-up to Mayra Diaz at Miss Brazil 2018. That's why I choose the psychology, because I have this inside of me to really connect with people, to know their stories. Under new ownership and a new national director, former Queen Martina Brandt, Miss Universe Brazil has made speaking English part of the selection process with recent title holders struggling in this area on the Miss Universe stage. There's added pressure on Teresa Santos to extend Brazil's placement streak at Miss Universe to 11, one of three countries alongside the Philippines and USA with active double-digit streaks. 24-year-old Caroline Teixeira will wear the Brazil sash at Miss World in Puerto Rico. She advocates for the care of sick children, including those with cancer and leprosy. 
Brazil has placed at Miss World 11 times in the past 14 years. But surely Carolyn will be aiming even higher, dreaming of that second crown half a century after the first. Peru is one of 22 nations worldwide that's won both alphas at least once. A two-time Miss World title holder, their last crown came in 2004, and they've placed only once since then, a top 40 result in 2017. At Miss Universe, Peru has placed 20 times overall, and at least once every decade since the pageant began in the 1950s. But Janik Masetta's second runner-up result in the 2020 competition was Peru's first top five finish since Gladys Zender won the crown in 1957. Since then, Peru went further than the first cut only three times in their next 16 placements. However, they've made top 10 or better the past two years, and that's a first for Peru. The woman who kicked off that mini streak was Kelly Rivera whose younger sister, Jelly, achieved a sandwich victory for her family by winning the 2021 Miss Peru crown, relegating fan favourite Camila Escribens to first runner-up. Jelly is in fact the third Rivera sibling to compete in an alpha pageant, with another sister, Sofia Rivera, unplaced at Miss World 2014. Coincidentally, in both previous times, a Rivera sister competed at an alpha pageant for Peru. A South African won the title. Go figure. Hola mundo, my name is Paula Montes and I have the honor of representing Peru in the 2021 Miss World competition. Meanwhile, Peru will be represented at Miss World by 25-year-old Paula Montes, selected in August in a separate pageant. Yet to win either of the alphas, Paraguay has actually placed only four times at each pageant. Its best results were a sandwich of third runner-up finishes at Miss Universe in the mid-2000s. So why the coverage in this video? Well, Paraguay's Miss Universe contender for 2021, Nadia Ferreira, has been creating a whirlwind of excitement with her doll-like beauty near endless stream of photo shoots displaying a range of looks. Plus her very credible program of social initiatives. The 22-year-old Ferreira has appeared on Fashion Week catwalks around the world and is signed with the renowned Wilhelmina Modeling Agency. She's very active in environmental causes and children's welfare organisations. Bethania Borba will represent Paraguay at Miss World 2021, aiming to achieve consecutive placements for her country after Araceli Bobadilla made the first cut in 2019. That concludes my Alpha Pageant preview of South America for the 2021 Miss World and Miss Universe competitions. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. My next Alpha Pageant preview will cover a handful of nations across the Africa and Asia Pacific regions. That's coming very soon. I'm the Pageant Nerd. Bye for now.